Hello everyone, this is Robin with MyPinkStamper.com and I have a video for you guys today using the Cool Treats bundle. I'm also using the Frozen Treats, some of the thinlets and I'm using some other um, framelits that I will share with you in just a little bit. Now I just demoed this card on my live broadcast this morning on my Facebook page, My Pink Stamper. I broadcast live every Tuesday, 10 o'clock, Mountain, or I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, Mountain Standard Time, Mountain Daylight Time. Um, so if you'd like to catch me live, check me out over there, but I will go ahead and get started. This is a really quick and simple video for you guys. I wanted to just share and spotlight our Glimmer paper. This is the Sweet Sugar Plum, and this comes in a pack with our Mint Macaron and our Bermuda Bay Glimmer. And you get four sheets of each, six by six, and this is free. This is one of our celebration items. It's free with a $50 order, along with many more of our celebration items. You can check them out at mypinkstamper.com. I have a link with all of the catalogs on there for you. So we'll go ahead and just get started. Now I'm going to be using this Glimmer paper here for my, my cuts. So I'm going to be pulling out what I'm going to be using. I'm using glimmer paper here for this. And I'm going to cut the little ice cream cone top with our sweet sugar plum glimmer. And I'm using some of our frozen treats or tasty treats designer series paper. I will have the item code for you right here. And I'm using that with our stitched shapes framelits right here. And then the last thing I'm cutting is using early espresso cardstock and I'm cutting that with the cone from the Frozen Treats framelit set. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my big shot and set this aside over here. Okay, I'm gonna try to do as many cuts as I can. So I'm gonna put my espresso right here and we'll see if I can get more. If I had these cut down smaller, I definitely could. I'm just gonna do these two right here first run them through okay and then the next thing we'll do is i will pull my this paper here and i could cut this down i'm just i'm just not going to cut it down right now okay just put those on there whoops so they're ready to go Okay, and that's all of the big shot work that I'm doing, so I'll just set that aside. This is a really quick and simple card, but I wanted to share it on a video where you can actually see the item codes if you wanted to duplicate this yourself. Okay, I'm just simply punching these all out. And then this one here, I'm going to actually grab my paper piercer you guys have one of our paper piercers it's wonderful you can simply just poke out a couple of these and then pull this out i want you to see how this is textured can you all see how it's textured i don't know if you can see that very well on there okay oops someone's sending me a text message all right okay so now i have everything i need right here we're going to be folding this piece of pear pizzazz cardstock. It's cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to fold this in half. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece. This is also from the designer series paper stack. And I'm gonna cut it at three and three quarters by five inches. And that's all the cutting I'm doing on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this using our Early Espresso ink. And I pulled out the sentiment from this set. I pulled out Happiest Birthday. I send a lot of birthday cards and I make a lot of birthday cards. What about you guys? I know I do a ton. So I'm going to stamp this kind of up here. I'm not doing it directly on the bottom. Stamping it up just a little bit. And now we're gonna put this card together. I'm using our snail adhesive 
Don't know where it went. There it is. And I'm going to add this on the back here. And right when you put it on, you can just see it pop. Once you add a darker color, the early espresso just makes everything kind of stand out a little bit more. I'm gonna put this on the pear pizzazz, just a really fun color combination. And now let's put these all together. So I'm going to be taking some of our glue dots. Steel adhesive doesn't work very well, or the tapes, they don't work very well with the glimmer. So I like to use just the glue dots. It really gets in to the glimmer if you're putting something directly on it. Okay, and then we have just the scallops from our layering circles. I don't think I mentioned that. So this circle at the top, this was from our Stitched Shapes Framelits, and they come with circles, ovals, and squares, different sizes with the stitched. And then this one came from our layering circles, and you get circles and you get scallop circles in that framelit pack. Now I'm going to take some more of our glue dots. Just gonna put some on here. And I'm going to add that right onto my ice cream cone right here. I'm gonna turn this upside down and I'm going to use some of our Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm gonna grab two of them. Oops. And I'm going to put these this ice cream cone, doesn't it look super delicious with that glimmer on the top? Just so yummy. Okay, now we're gonna just add three more dimensionals. Peel these off. And then you can just leave the card like this if you'd like. Just really simple, clean with some pattern. Or I'm going to go ahead and add some of our rhinestones, if I can grab them. These come in the pack with the single rhinestones, you can get the, they also have the, the line. So I'm gonna add just four. And I like to just use our bone folder to grab those and I'm gonna set them off to the side right here just for a little bling, a little added touch. And here's another card, let me show you. Get close up and here's the other one I made earlier on my live show and I used some of our enamel shapes that come in the color family. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can order anything you see here on my shopping page, my pink stamper, .stampinup.net. All of the supplies will be listed in the description and at the end of this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.